Files, the bad guy, is a lawyer from Nigeria and also a music, you know, let's say brand owner, a music record label owner. And they saw him vibing in a video with PDD. This is PDD's daughter. And one will wonder, PDD has a very beautiful daughter who just clocked 18 years. In June or July, she just turned 18. Uh, how would he feel if somebody does what he had done to be able to his daughter? I think this is the only daughter he has. So people have been of the opinion that PDD didn't do well. This one, that, So now what is trending online now is that most of his friends are disabling either their TikTok, their Twitter account, like the... Osha was accused of, you know, deleting all his tweets on 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 um, X, not Twitter anymore, on X. And it's beginning to cause some worry in the media. Why, why are his friends, you know, people like um, um, his friends, Queen Bee's husband, you know, all of those people, his ex-girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez, all of them, most people are not even talking now bonner boy has been in the news that bonner boy knows something that bonner boy must have done something with this man so my own thinking is our question i'm i want to ask is does it mean that everybody that comes around this man wants to do something no there are a lot of people who have turned down his his request but people feel that before you get you know the oscars before you win the the different awards they win the food the wind the headies that's everything you must belong to something and you see this video this particular post here where you see my it's just how everybody believes that you must belong to a particular cult to become famous i think this notion i used to think was just you no know, not out of this world why would people think that way and somebody wrote this posted this in april two years ago he said bonner boy makes history as he joins michael jackson elvis presley the big Beatles, Adele, Rihanna, Jay Z, Justin Bieber, Maria, and the rest. See, it's okay. Look at now. Now, in different pictures, they have seen our our brother Bonner Boy having some pictures with Didi. But now Bonner Boy came out in an interview and said he has he has only met Didi once. He has never met Didi. And this was the interview. He said he had met the only ones. So if not for Rio's content, I'd have played this video so that you listen to it. But I can't because of Rio's content. So Didi is now facing the hot seat alone. All his friends. You will see uh, as we as the video progresses, you see you see CEOs of companies resigning. Just since the day this guy was, you know, arrested, they were resigning, some were deleting their whatever. So my question is, is it that all these executives, all these um, CEOs that are resigning, they have something or they are scared they might be called to come give account of what's happening or what PDD had done in the past? Because I don't understand why everybody's running away. Everybody's saying, no, they don't know PDD. They don't have any dealings with him. Why would somebody even say a thing like that? But I feel that no matter how we word them, no matter how loose PDD is, at least there are people who had turned down his you know, request. See how beautiful his daughter is. And she's been saying, please, they should release the father. The father is innocent. But I think it's the court of law that will determine determine that if your father is innocent or not but you know taking on due advantage of people is something that is really really very serious is a serious offense and a lot of people will not back down they will want this case to go on i've seen so many reactions you know about this whole case and they want it to go on because imagine if this was done to his daughter he won't take it kindly so it, uh, you will see the executives different this is the files is a lawyer and also a mu music executive and he's you know being dragged online to come and prove his innocence bonner boy has been dragged with kid has been dragged the only person they've not mentioned this is pdd's family the only person they haven't mentioned in all of this is david do maybe because they've not seen him in a picture with pdd and you see sometimes eh, it's it, there, there's this advantage of you snapping with these big people now it's if it was for good they will be trending also alongside this guy but now that it's not of good bonner boy whiskey and 
you know, files are being dragged into the whole mess. That they know what's up. They know what they have been doing with the guy behind closed doors. And Bonaboy keeps saying, no, he doesn't know anything. That he has never met this guy until the picture day. Okay, now, I think I've seen two pictures that he was wearing different things. So, Usher has been accused of deleting all his posts on X. Yeah, as all of them are just deleting. The, the CEOs are resigning. So many, you know, allegations up and the flying. I don't know why. So, that shows that PDD was indeed a very powerful man. You know, he was very powerful. For him to be connected to all these people, he had just a way of making it. I don't know how he was. Maybe each time he posted the party, he posted it on maybe another pl platform to be making money because how else does he make money? Is it just the music streams? Because ah, I, don't, I don't understand. Because the guy seems to be boxed up and then all the people around him are wealthy. And even when they are wealthy, they are still scared that they can be called. Gen Z is not even talking. Everybody is mute. And the daughter keeps calling them out. Please, can you say something? Now, Bonaboy is saying anybody that calls him into this, you know, <clears throat> Rihanna and all of them, everybody is being roped into the same thing. The last video I did, you pulled head of um, Naomi Campbell. And it was mentioned in one of the, this is now, Jennifer Lopez has been mentioned in this other findings. So let's know whether it's a coincidence that all the music executives are resigning, like the CEOs are resigning, they resigned. Wow, this is serious. This is damn serious. Hmm. It's well, we pray and just hope that everything turns out well for and the victims get justice. Because the way this whole thing is going, look at the executives, all of them. All of them you are seeing, as you see them, Chris Brown, all of them, they are being indicted directly or indirectly. Some of them have disabled their account. Some of them, they have deleted everything on their platform, both on Instagram and on, on, on X. So a lot is going on. We expected his friends, all these friends like this guy here, for them to speak up, but nobody is saying anything. Nobody is saying anything since he was arrested. Nobody is saying anything. Rather, they are running up and down, deleting things that they shouldn't even delete. Everybody that even took pictures or videos with him, this was one of his allies, one of his right-hand man. All of them are disassociating themselves from Didi. I think this will make Didi to really know those who were, his, who were truly his friends. You see these people here? All of them? This is a CEO also. All of them resigned. So how did they all of a sudden begin to begin to be, how did they begin to resign and step aside? They stepped aside. They resign. Is it that the guy gave them the jobs or what? Or is it this the a, a form of secrecy they need to keep because they feel that they may be called upon to come give, you know? I don't know, I don't know because I feel that there's a whole lot that the world doesn't know about. There's a whole lot. The CEO of Nike resigned. The CEO of Fanta resigned. So people are just sending in their resignation. You know, so I feel there's more to this story that we know. There's more. So that is all the CEOs, all of them you're seeing are different CEOs of different companies, multinationals. All of them had to resign. And it's back to back. One will only wonder what's going on. Het, CEO gone, resigned also. That's what has been happening. They've just been resigning. And Nike, I mentioned that already, is resigned. So tell me why they are all resigning. What's happening? Where, are they going to be called to, you know, give a testimony or something? This is another CEO resigned. <laughs> there are a lot of them that resigned just within how many days? Because, well, it might be that because we don't want to testify against him, or we don't know yet. We don't know yet. But the way Bonaboy is taking this thing, anybody that tells him that again is going to sue the person straight up because he's been threatening that nobody should rope him into this whole madness. Why are the CEOs, you know, resigning? <laughs>